Welcome to everybody. In this video we are going to introduce the new GC600 generator set controller. This is a controller able to implement any kind of single, multiple, island and parallel application. Here we can see how GC600 is related as price and performance to the other controllers of ours. Please, remember that in parallel application, GC600 can work together with any of other our parallel controllers, included NC100 and BTB100. Let's start summarizing the general features of the controller. Full set of generator protection. Full set of engine protection. True RMS, high sample rate measures for all AC input. Four AC inputs for generator voltage. Four AC inputs for mains bus voltage. Four AC inputs for current measurement. 18 insulated plus seven plus one digital inputs. 18 digital outputs for relay. 7 analog inputs, 2 analog insulated voltage outputs, real time clock with rechargeable battery, 4.3 inches TFT color display. C6600 has embedded PLC, configurable logics, configurable event logs, configurable trend logs. Controller supports the following expansion modules up to 4 detail modules, up to 10 D-temp modules, up to 5 D-VIT modules, up to 4 Danaut modules. GC600 has a rich set of communication interfaces. Insulated engine can interface with J9039, insulated Ethernet, RS232 with modem support, insulated RS485, remote firmware update, insulated CHSPMC bus for load sharing and power management. S protocol, Modbus RTU and TCP protocols, short message communication using a GSM modem, NTP protocol, DHCP and DNS client protocols, USB function host. Controller manage the following single operation modes. Single prime mover, single standby, single standby and single short time parallel, single parallel to mains, single parallel to mains and single standby. About the multiple operating modes, multiple prime mover, multiple standby, multiple standby and multiple short time parallel, multiple parallel to mains, multiple parallel to mains and multiple standby. The supported parallel operation are the following. Active and reactive load sharing, active and reactive power regulation, GCB and NCB synchronization, isochronous and group mode, load management and smart load management. The controller is fitted with the following parallel and protection functions. Reverse power, loss of field, rock off, vector jump, other loss of mains protection, and dynamic support of the network. Regarding the internal PLC function, the main features are the following. Logical function blocks, mathematical function blocks, numeric function blocks, regulator blocks, various blocks. There are no block limits. The only limitation is available memory. Now a quick look to the controller connectors. Here we have the Ethernet port, the serial port with modern support, and the USB function host connectors. Two gold plated CAN connectors, some digital and analog IOs, and the engine interface connectors. There are two connectors for the current measurement. One for the triphase and another one for the auxiliary measurement. Both connectors have retaining screws. At the end there are the two analog insulated outputs for governor and AVR. G600 
GC 600 is inherited the case from GC 500. Then panel cutout, mounting and other mechanical matters are the same as the previous controller. Using the included gasket you can obtain an IP65 mounting. Looking at the controller, the first big difference with GC500 is the display. It is bigger. Now it is 4.3 inches and, above all, it is a TFT color display. Resolution is a wide quarter VGA, 480 by 272 pixels. The screen color team can be selected among three predefined sets. Display interface structure is based on the standard one used for all other CHS controllers. All these late changes were made in order to adapt for the controller improvement. Misuring screens show bar graphs values alongside the actual measure values. Bar graphs show also the measure limits. High luminosity LEDs are used but it is possible by parameter to set the luminosity in order to adapt to the current ambient light. No more to bright or to dim signal lamps. This controller comes in two types, GC600 and GC600 mains. The difference between the two is the plant layout on the front panel, with GC600 missing MCB button and a couple of LEDs. In any case, they use the same firmware and they are interchangeable without any application restriction. Beside the GI9039 interface, GC600 is able to directly manage and protect any other engine. The already rich engine features of GC500 are even improved by GC600. GC600 has an additional fourth analog input that can be used for oil temperature, coolant level or for other electrical or auxiliary measure. These four analog inputs can work for resistance or voltage measurement. Setup is made by parameters. By default, maximum oil temperature is added to the protection list. Now three maintenance counters are available. The first one is the same counter used up to date. The second one is a clone of the first and works in the same way. It can be set with different values. The third timer allows to set up how many days left to next maintenance. But is it is possible to program long-term maintenance not based on engine usage. Let's talk a little about electrical interface and measurement. Controller has two, four channels, AC voltage measurement inputs, one for generator and another for grid bus. AC measurement, like other CHS controllers, is true RMS with high speed sampling rate. The eight AC voltage inputs are able to withstand 6 kV transient voltage. This allows to rate the input as category 4 for phase neutral voltage up to 300 volt. AC voltage inputs have two scales, selectable by parameters. Full range, named 400 volt, and VT range, named 100 volt. Full range allows measurement up to 600 volt, phase to phase category 3, or 520 volt category 4. VT range allows measurement up to 147 volt phase neutral. This range is useful when using voltage transformer. Selecting full range enables the auto range mode that switches the measuring scale according to the applied voltages. Four AC current input measurements are available. Three are used for the phase currents. The fourth one can be used for neutral protection or special function measurement. In GC600, the current measure interface uses current transformer. 
the solution cancels common mode voltage problems and allows for greater transient overload. Also for current inputs are available two different measurement scales, 5 amp and 1 amp. This allows to use low scale CT without a resolution loss. Here you can see the NC code of the available generator protection. Some of them are quite common for this kind of application. Not so common are the 51V and the 50V, very useful for generator protection. 46 negative sequence current protection is very important when asymmetrical loads are used. All protection can be fully configured by threshold and time delay. This 600 is able to support any generator applications. No firmware upgrade or enabled angle is required. In order to simplify configuration, we enumerated 10 different master applications. Among these, five are single and five are multiple plants. Only two doesn't require parallel function. Let's save a quick tour among these plants. This is a single prime mover, an application where the only available power source is the generator. Single standby, this is a standard automatic means failure application. Single standby plus single short time parallel. This application requires some parallel features, but allows for a smooth transition without power interruption. Single parallel to mains is used to produce energy to be forwarded into the grid. SPTM plus SSB, the generator here, works supplying energy to the grid, switching to island mode when there is a mains failure. Multiple prime mover. This is the standard application of multiple generators working in load sharing mode. Up to 16 generators can be connected together. Multiple standby. This is the analogous of the SSB, but I made that multiple generator application. Multiple standby plus multiple short time parallel. This configuration allows to set up a system of multiple generators able to smoothly transfer the load from and to the mains. This kind of plant usually requires an external system controller like Sitges and C100. Up to 16 and C100 can be added to the same plant. Multiple parallel to mains. Multiple parallel to mains plus multiple standby. Here we have a parallel to main system able to work also in Iceland mode. Load sharing in case of mines failure. Also in this case, NC100 is required in order to exploit all the controller features. GC600 supports all these plants in the same way of the other switches parallel controllers. It is fully compatible with all other switches controllers. Multiple generators working in island mode require active and reactive load sharing. When working parallel to mains application, active and reactive power regulation is the requirement. GC600 supports both GCB and CB synchronization, allowing smooth load transfer in any application. Besides the isochronous mode, GC600 also supports group mode emulation allowing load sharing even when no sharing bus is available. GC600 implements a load management function for up to 16 generators. Besides this, it implements also smart load management for up to 5 generators. This function is able to select the best generator combination for the applied load. 
GC600 implements the dynamic support of the network for parallel to mains operation for both voltage and frequency. Your plant can thus be compliant with the requirement from many regulation bodies. Here you can see the list of the parallel and loss of main protection implemented inside the controller. C600 embeds a rich set of communication interfaces. Let's see them. An insulated CAN interface is available in order to manage the engine. Supported protocol are J9039, MTUM DEC and CCSX bus for module expansion. A second insulated CAN interface is available to implement the load sharing bus. Supported protocol are CCS PNCB and X bus. A standard RS232 port with modem interface is available. An insulated RS485 is available too. GC600 embeds a USB function host port with separate connectors. All of those ports support Modbus RTU protocol. A support for USB memory stick is forecast. Also, GC600 integrates an Ethernet port. The main supported protocol is TCP IP. Controller supports Simone interface. The CCS cloud system. No additional hardware is needed in order to send data to this system. The HCP client and DNS client protocols are supported in order to simplify network configuration. NTP client protocol is supported too. This allows to keep the internal real-time clock aligned. GC600 has embedded a PLC. This is added to the standard configurable logics, allowing the maximum flexibility and simplicity. CHS supplies a dedicated PLC editor and compiler. Let's have now a quick look at the main PLC features. AND, OR, Exclusive OR and SET RESET blocks are available for the logic blocks. SUM, SUBTRACT, MULTIPLY, DIVISION, ABSOLUTE VALUE, AVERAGE VALUE, MINIMUM and MAXIMUM VALUE, LIMITATION and SCALING BLOCKS, are available for the math blocks. Comparator, timer, up and down counter blocks are available for the numeric function blocks. Numeric PID, up and down PID and digital potentiometer are the PLC regulators blocks. Multiplexer, demultiplexer and force protection are the PLC various blocks. Here you can see the main features of the GC600 PLC. One of the features of CCS PLC is that there are no limits in block usage. It is possible to use any number and combination of blocks you need, up to the maximum available memory. We have arrived at the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.